What do you think is waiting for us inside the castle? So, you passed out on the couch the moment we returned to the guild, but now you simply pop in with energy. Eustace really does not like Milium, does he? He been making comments about her all day long. All day long. Milium, you know this isn't a game, right? I know, I know. But as long as Lammy's with us, it's nothing to worry about. We just grab this kid so we can go exploring. Um, Milium. Ah, uh, she doesn't seem nervous in the slightest. Did you guys hear, just hear a bell? Yeah, it came from the direction of the castle. Well, Longwood Castle does have a bell tower, but as far as I was aware, Axe to it has been sealed off. Um, then who's ringing it? Belt only at night in the old stronghold of the Eisenritter. Best be prepared for anything. We're almost there, so make sure we're prepared before we head ashore. Well, here we are. Hey, do you think that's the boat the children took? Can't imagine who else would it would be. This is appeared to have reached the castle safely. And safe to assume they went inside as well. It's all past sundown now. To find them as soon as we can. Looks we'll like the path will take us up to the cliff. Right. Path will take us to the castle as entrance. Mind your footing though. Night is dark and the trail is uneven. The trail is uneven, but the kids are here, in fact. Be able to find them eventually. So this is Saint Sandlot's old stronghold, Lohengrin Castle. This is the first time I've come here at night. Be careful of your footing. Mm-hmm. We'll be very careful. Don't worry about it. Whoa! What's that? Something strange about the castle. Mm-hmm. Is that glow just the moonlight? No, it's not. It has a weird glow all around the castle for some reason. I say for some reason, but I'm just trying not to spoil anything. Look at it. Looks really pretty. Majestic as hell. Even that glow gives it like a slight allure to it. So this is Lohengrin Castle. The ancient stronghold of Saint Sandlot. Gathering place of the warriors of old. It looks even more beautiful up close. Yeah, but what's up with that weird glow? I've been here several times before, but I've never seen it like this. I can sense a very strange wind blowing from within. It doesn't feel like monsters, though. Hmm? I can feel it, too. Like something is writhing around inside. Wait! What kind of something? I feared as much. I can definitely sense the presence of the dead. Emma? I'm alright, but we're going to need to tread carefully in there. Right. There's no telling what may happen when we venture inside. We should make certain we're ready before entering. Like I said, we're as ready as we can be, so let's go inside. Something very strange happening here. Let's make sure we are ready whenever we, uh, whenever we need to find inside. Should we go in right, right away? Ah, uh, yeah, we'll go in right away. No reason not to at this point. Did the door just seal itself shut on its own? You, you stupid door! Lammy! Bust it open! Well, that was unexpected. No! So not even Air Getlam can break us out of here? It appears that there's a barrier in place. What kind of barrier? Are you talking about that strange symbol that appeared on the door for a moment? How would you know something like that, Emma? Well, I've always had a pretty strong sixth sense about these kinds of things. So sometimes I can sense things that aren't visible to the naked eye. A uh, sixth sense? Hmm. Fascinating. Come to think of it, this isn't the first time you've reacted strangely to unusual phenomena. Eustace has a point. 
I've heard that people from the church can make use of some strange powers. So are you a sister of the church or something? I'm um, kind of the opposite. Oh, uh, you got me! I've always been a big supporter of the church! And that's what the biggest mystery here is, about what does she mean by the kind of the opposite. I'm guessing she's probably been a worshipper of the the spirits, maybe? She's definitely has some weird attunement to be able to sense these sort of things, just in general. I mean, she also has the ability to heal people with just with a weird enchant enchantment that she does, and has the ability to even open locks with just whispering things in. I don't know, it's it's strange, there's still a lot of mystery with Emma, and still not solved to the very end, it's still not solved. All we know is that she's more open about talking about herself. I'm guessing the further games maybe explain a little bit more. I'm not sure what you're getting at. Emma, just who are you? Ah! What's that sound? It's the bell we heard earlier. Something's approaching to the left and the right. Ugh, monsters, is it? No. These are no ordinary beasts. But we're going to have to fight them all the same. Here they come! Be careful, everyone! My turn! These particular ones are actually going to be really easy to deal with. They're just Shadow Spirits. Have a lot of uh, weakness to Mirage abilities, which we don't have any in particular, but we could apply a Grand Press on them. Just do some damage, as we have the ability to. Insta-cast. It's my turn! And we can just auto-attack them. Now! A fairly yeah. easy. Fairly easy to deal with. We won, Emma! We won! <laughs> well done. Fantastic. Looks like we beat them. <laughs> Are you alright, Milliam? Oh, what were those things? Mysterious spirits. Though perhaps it would be more appropriate to call them fiends. Either way, they were no ordinary opponents. The higher elements seem to be present here as well. And I suspect that's true of the whole castle. Yeah, it did feel that way. Though I'm still not sure what the ringing bell from earlier has to do with anything. <sighs> this place seems to be even more dangerous than we could have anticipated. And as long as that barrier remains in place, so will we. We're going to need to search for a way out. Okay, Emma. It looks like we're going to need to rely on this sixth sense of yours in order to navigate this castle safely. You don't have to tell us anything if you're not comfortable. Right now, our safety is in your hands. Yes, of course. All right, then time is of the essence. With fiends like those roaming the castle, I'm even more worried about the children. True. We should start looking right away. We're going already! Can't we rest here a little longer? <laughs> Those fiends scare the strength right out of your legs? No! That's totally not it! You're more than welcome to stay here and wait. Oh, waiting by myself would be even worse! <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can find. Right. Emma can now use S-Craft Lord Alberian. And that particular S-Craft of hers is really, really powerful. I don't want to be overusing it just that early, but we'll man, it's gonna be worth it. My oh, turn. it's so powerful. Of nice, you very still nice. Have a lot of training to do. And for the most part, throughout this place, by the way, easy auto attacks. Just easy, simple auto attacks all the way through and through. Oh, except the blades, noticing us. Ha! Out of the aggro range, though. Here we go. We should keep Good. going. I did it! That should suffice. Very nice. Some level ups here and there. Should probably rest up as well here, so we have the ability to just make sure we get the necessary rest. Uh, we got a floating armor over here to deal with. We're gonna have to wait for it to turn around though before we can get on it. There we go. Oh, now might have noticed this either way. It's weird, the enemies can be facing away from us. And they'll still end up noticing us. Take him out. Doesn't make 100% sense, turn. but it's whatever. Right. Yes, sir. Now. Nice. Stand down. Oh, yeah. link ability. Oh, that link ability is so good. 
counter. Fool. Counter. My type. Now. Very nice. Good. Your swordsmanship gets better with every battle. Hell Making yeah. Progress. I'm awesome. Just getting started. And level leveling up for everybody. Leveling up across the board, which is great for this sort of thing. Let's make sure we check the entire room here for any kind of bonuses, EP charge. Some more items for us to break over here. There we go, battle scope. I think battle scope is going to be used as a detector or the analysis ability. Just a little bit more, uh, give us a little more efficiency in battle. Which we don't have to worry about right now. We already got, uh, detect from Emma, so I think we'll be just fine with it. Let's see, we need to make a cross over here. Let's go ahead and make our way this way. Gotta deal with the floating blades. Ghastly weapons just roaming about. Now's our chance. Let's my turn. Didn't mean to run to like that, but okay. It's my Unfortunately turn. happened. Now gotcha. Right. Follow up with attack. Yes, sir. Got it. Now. Uh -huh. Nice. We Very good. Pretty good. They're doing really good right now. This castle has no shortage of strange foes. Perhaps they <laughs> really are go. D don't say it! Don't say the infamous G word, or else, uh, Millium is gonna get spooked. <laughs> anyway, let's go and make our way down here. What are we dealing with? We got a floating armor looking away from us. Still somehow notice us. I don't know how enemies can notice us like this. I will never understand the AI for this game. Fantastic. We'll take on the weaker one. My bigger turn. one. Now I'll help. Together. It's my turn. Of course. Stop. Here I go. Now's our chance. I'll help. Okay. Nice. Good. My turn. We'll cut our own path. Very nice. Like I said, all the attacks in this place are gonna be extremely easy for us to uh, conserve our energy and just build up overall top CP for us to unleash it on some of the best uh, endgame bosses and stuff. And the boss in this place is oh, rather intimidating, I'll say that. I'll just say that. Look, there's something over there. Seems to be some kind of pedestal. There's some sort of orb sitting on it. I expect the orb has the power to dis disable the barrier. So we need to leave the castle. There was a barrier on the other side, by the way, which is why I'm getting the orb right now. I don't think so. Orbs like this function a bit like keys. Each one that has a power to dispel its corresponding barrier. Don't think it's the one that goes with the barrier of the front door of the castle. Regardless, it seems like we need to take it with us if we want to advance. Ten yellow orb. Okay, now we should be able to access another area of the castle. But you know, there's something else I'm curious about. Do you remember the door that opened up the living armor? It looks similar like that. It has a similar kind of a uh, symbol on it as well. Wow, it's a huge door! I had my eye on that ever since we entered the room. Doesn't it look more like a little more than a little similar to the door on the fourth floor of the old school house? You're right. It looks like it's the red door. The giant armor is behind. I seldom visit the castle, so I'm afraid there's not much I can tell you. So it's possibility that children may, might have gone inside. You should check it out just, just to be sure. Doesn't seem like it was open. Seems as steadfast as a wall around it, if more than so. That's true. Can't see any signs that children might have gone inside either. Should probably move on and check somewhere else then. Makes you wonder though, how did a door like this come to be in Logan Castle to begin with? Even the pattern in it are like the ones from the door of the old schoolhouse. Old as it might seem, maybe they are connected somehow. But his theory is that the old schoolhouse may be connected to Imperial Drasho in some way. St. Senla was Rasha's foremost ally in the close terms with him even before he came to the Emperor. It's not possible that there may be a connection there. Hmm? Well, whatever secrets this door may hold, it's dead end right now. You should turn around and look elsewhere. Let's, retract, let's trace our steps to the entrance of the hall, uh, entrance hall of the castle. There should be a barrier somewhere that we can use the orb to disable. Let's be on our way then. Alright then. But this door still seems to be pretty ominous. The fact that it relates to the the schoolhouse is oh a treasure chest rather eerie lunar robe for our lunar princess I guess I could say ta da there you go that's gonna be for Emma here she does have more lunar based abilities if anything oh like space based abilities that I find not space like actual space like actual affinity in the game but like 
her abilities have a particular knack to it. I don't know, it seems it seems fitting to give her the little robe. It does increase like AP and stuff. Not a, not AP, it increases the arts capability. Go through here. We'll deal with the cross with the uh, armor. We can probably pass by real quick. No reason to plot it again. EP charge one. And we can deal with this barrier over here. <clears throat> Using the orb. Well, let's you disable the barrier here. And use your mechanism. This guy seems to have an abundant supply of unusual things. I see nothing of those ghostly fiends prowling about. Regarding the door, by the way, regarding the door that we just saw earlier, I wonder if that means Thor's Military Academy in the old schoolhouse is somewhat related to Emperor Dreischel. Or Dreichel. Maybe. Maybe it's a place that he established. I don't exactly remember 100% when Thor's was established. I'm gonna have to re read the history back when we come back to Thor's Military Academy, go back to the library to read up on some lore on how Thor's was established and everything. He says, don't say the G word. Ghosts, yep. At least we should be able to push farther into the castle now. Maybe some mechanism elsewhere in the castle. Let's keep an eye out on it, everyone. Yes, we shall. Yes, we shall. Alright. Let's head on inside. What have we got here? A lot of ghastly spirits. Things to break. Nope, no things to break at the moment. Yeah, of course they see us. Of course they see us. Now's our chance. Let go! Counter. Right. Wow, okay. Okay. That's unfortunate. My turn. What is our accuracy right now? Oh my god. <laughs> Don't mess with that. What is this? What is this with our accuracy? Why are we taking- why are we- I don't remember missing the last time I ran around like this, but hey, whatever. Let's keep going through here. We got a dog over here. And somehow it still notices us, even though it's facing far away from us. We have the advantage. Here we go. Yes, we do. Death blows. I believe death blows is a new thing that actually has yeah. a chance for us to inflict a major wound on the enemy here. here. Of course. Since all those enemies have death blows, are gonna have death blows. My best we take them out yes, as sir. soon as possible here. Nice. No more chance. I'll help. Of Good. Course. Nice. It's my turn. My and Emilium offers the death blow. It's a bonus yeah, now. So now we gotta make sure the enemies don't get a death blow. Because otherwise that's gonna I've suck for us if we have it. Ready wings? A buff for strength and defense, but lowers down arts and art defense for her. So she's sacrificing the buffing of physical capabilities of offense and defense, but to suffer a penalty of having the arts uh, be nerfed for her. Worthy sacrifice, but you know, it's gonna be very situational in particular. Set over here. This one, the chest we can get here. Seems to be a treasure chest here. Yes, there is. Can we get the other two? We could get Uses coming here and just ulti up on him. Let's go ahead and do that actually. He's gonna jump in on Uses, uh, getting his ulti in here. My turn. It's gonna do some damage here. My turn. Let's see what can we do here. Arc slash on these enemies like this. Nice. Yeah. And sorry, nope. Uh, Ethereal Edge. Nice. This is it. Million. Go ahead and get them all. Okay. My turn. Nice. And then we'll have her go for this Buster Arm. Here we go. Good. Down this guy. So we're just gonna move up. Yeah. Do another Ethereal mm -hmm. Edge. This is nice. It. Good job. My turn. I guess we'll just actually. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and swap him out for I Laura. Leave this to you. Understood. Link him up. Good. And we'll have our attack. No. There you go. Assist and Dunsky. Your and buffing Laura as well. Everybody. Hell yeah. Finally got some good buffs on Laura. I think the more we have them out uh, to play, the better it is. And now we also have Kadze as one of our uh, master quartz. Kadze in particular absorbs enemy magic damage. I decided I was not going to give Kadze to anybody at the moment. Not at least any of the uh, party members that I have at the moment right now. Didn't seem like it would be too fitting for any of them. 
But I may give it to somebody else in the future. Maybe. Depends. Yeah. Of course. Now. Got it. Yes, sir. Of course. Off guard. Got it. Got it. It's my turn. Yes, sir. My turn. Nice. That's Very nice. That. Let's keep moving. Good. Just and started. level up for guys. Good. And uses treasure sword. Uh, seal freeze. Okay, that's good. Uh, seals falls on ice, shatters it, unbalanced twenty. If I'm going through all this a little bit fast because I already went through it before, huh? so. Is that a treasure chest? And yes, with fire bell. Except fire bell. Um, I believe when it, whenever we do damage, it has a. I can actually check on what fire bell does in particular. Instead of trying to guess what it does. Fire bell. Crystal flaw, by the way. ADF uh, 10 ATS 7 creates a glistening river of ice, which is nice. Fire Bell uh, has de uh, delay after using fire arts, so it lets you uh, spam fire abilities if anything. Gives you a little edge over it. An external corridor. We must be on the north side of the castle. Yes, we should be. We've gone pretty far inside now. I hope the children are safe. We're actually getting almost done with this place entirely. Before, I actually took my sweet time looking around everything, and, you know, I kind of wish, you know, that moment was saved, but unfortunately it wasn't. It's not, so I kind of feel like I'm speeding through it, and I apologize. Ha! The advantage is ours! My turn! My turn! These guys yeah. in particular have a high resistance to a lot of the uh, auto attacks that we deal on them. Okay. Right. That's a combo here. Yeah! My turn! Nice. Yeah. That is scared of that. They did not send a chance. No, not Yay, at all. Treasure! Judgment Bolt. Judgment Bolt is just another air based ability that's a little bit more powerful than the air strike. <laughs> Bust through this. Nothing here. Alright. Let's head on in. Now that we're out here, that's a barrier that we gotta take care of. Before we can go up there to deal with, we gotta find the orb over corresponding color. The berry is red, so we gotta find the orb that will be red. And over here would be a basic chest that we can open up for a celestial bomb. That was across from the monster chest that we fought earlier. Got taken care of, that's fine. Let's go ahead and head downwards and see if we can grab that orb that we need. Left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand. Nothing but trouble. This is the most I've heard Yusus be so talkative. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's talkative because he's annoyed with Millie and always has to make some sort of a snarky comment towards her doing anything. She's just a kid. I welcome all challengers. Just doing her thing, yeah. it's whatever. But, you know. Apparently still gets some uses uh bad mean? side. My turn. Nice. This is gonna start one of them is gonna start casting. Go. Right. You still nice. have a lot of training to do. I did it. Level up for Reen? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, that's what we need here. Now we gotta go find that orb to unlock the seal. And there it is. Beautiful. Oh, let's take it up. Obtain red orb. That should let us unlock the seal for the red door. I'm moving through this a lot faster than I did at first. A lot faster. Guess because I already know what's coming up and everything, so I'm a little bit more prepared for it mentally and physically. Anyway. Time for us to go ahead and depart back to the red door because we're still trying to find the kiddos and everything. All right, let's bust it open. Nice. Here we go. Hey, those are. This is good. My voice was that was really bad, sorry. <clears throat> Julian! Go away, you monsters! Great night, Julian will never forgive you if you hurt Car Carno. Uh, God, us help us. Stand back. God, my voice is really bad, I'm sorry. Laura? Thank goodness you're both safe. We're okay. More fiends. They don't seem quite quite pleased that we robbed them of their quar quarry. We can do this. Just don't let them near the children. Blow away, Lammy. Okie doke, let's get started. Okie doke, let's get started. Alright. I can only get two at a time. 
Well, let's get those two then. Come on, Reed. Got it. This guy's gonna get some CP back. Oh. Counter. Nice. It's gonna be a major critical they're gonna be forcing on us here. Got it. Of course. Huh? Nice. You still have a lot of training. Making That's progress. That's dealt with. And Emma got level up. Astral Flare. Good. Not bad. <laughs> I did it. Very nice. All right. So we took care of them. Not hurt, are you? No, we're okay. That was so cool. You guys are all so strong. It's like Eisenwood from the old stories. Considering the predicament, they didn't seem to be any worse for wear. Well, as long as they're both unharmed. Actually, I do think both of you have something to say. Huh? Um. Alright, oh, thanks for saving us. That's not what I mean. You stole a boat and entered a property that is off limits to you without telling anyone where, you, where you're going. What do you think would have happened if you would have come looking for you? Who would have saved you? Do you have any idea how worried your parents and anyone else in town are about you? I... Laura... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you lost what you did wrong, I have nothing further to say on the matter. Oh. I admire your bravery, stepping forward to defend Carnal like you did. But you're still young and experienced like I am. It's one thing to aspire to be to the qualities of a knight, but no good will come of rushing toward to that goal. Right, I'm sorry. Think about coming for us, everyone. Don't worry about it. Try to be a little less reckless in the future, would you? Uses. I actually embarrassed you got thanked by Kid. Hush, you impudent brat. <laughs> Well, we found them and they're safe. That's a huge relief. Now all always left is finding a way out of the castle. Come to think of it, we couldn't even enter the room until we disabled the barrier. So how did the two of you get inside? Um, when I first came in here, everything was normal. We went our way to the top floor. But as soon as we came here, suddenly there were the pale haze everywhere. These strange circles appeared in a door we couldn't open it anymore. We didn't know what to do. So we ended up locked in. There doesn't seem to be any other access to the room either. It seems that we have one to, if we want to leave to deal with whatever is causing all this. I'm sure there must be some way to disable the barrier on the front door. Hold on a moment. Emma? I can sense something coming from the top floor of the castle. Mysterious energy flowing out from there like a wellspring. What? You can sense something like that? Well, more or less yes. It's about the only clue we have to go on right about now, so might as well go up and take a look around. Maybe it's me, but it almost feels like she's starting to be more forthcoming with her insight. What about the children? We can't just leave them here. Better just take it with us then. It's not enough. It's not. Uh, yeah, sorry. There's enough of us that will be able to keep them safe. No telling what kind of danger we'll run into, but it makes sense to bring them along so we can keep an eye on them. What do you two think? Do you prefer to stay with us? Of course. I feel way safer with you guys. Pretty well then. Fine, fine. Suppose we'll take responsibility for your safety then. All right, let's head off for the top floor then. Tell us a look at what the source of that mysterious energy Emma was talking about. It's been our way then. And lo and behold, now we have kitties to take care of. Is that a treasure chest? Better with them to stay with us than, you know, to run around. Rakshasha is actually the more powerful version of Speedbreaker. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it two. Three. So we can have that. And just so we, I am safe and clear and stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and save here just in case. Never know what can happen, and anything can happen. Saving in games is just good. It's a good idea. Let's go through here. Now we just gotta reach the bell tower or the top and see what is causing these anomalies in the first place. Got a bike to deal with first. This looks like 
We've reached the uppermost floor. The bell tower is ahead. The energy source is nearby. Almost there. Come here. Now's our chance. Let's get him. Here we go. There we go. Double advantage. My turn. That's what we need to hear. Nice. Good job. Yes, sir. Of course. My turn. Nice miss. That hurt a little. My turn. Huh? Yeah. My turn. Now. I'll help. Oh no, you don't. Nice, good block. Of course. That's that's the thing that I love about going. these particular uh, links that we have here with our party members is that we have the ability to block out some enemies and stuff like that, which is good. Everybody, all right in the heels? Now nah, they'll be all right. We'll we'll be able to. It's gonna be doable for us anyway. Go through here. We even have a rest spot right here for us. Customize weapon. Can we upgrade any of them? Oh, we could actually upgrade something like that here. Let's do Chrome Claw. Just so we can do more damage. Let's do that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, this actually turned out pretty well here. Not gonna lie. It's actually turned out pretty well right now. And now we have the final boss battle to deal with. Oh my god, we, we skimmed through this completely, didn't we? That was really fast. I think what I'm gonna do is actually take time with the final battle. Just to make sure that I can, you know, edge out perfect uh, three-hour recording to uh, make up for the fact that I lost three and, three and a half or three hours and 45 minutes of recording. Perfect recording that was done beforehand. Perfect, absolute perfect recording. Actually, what I'm going to do right now is stop the webcam, see if it's any good, and stop the webcam, see, uh, stop the uh, current gameplay right now, see if it's any good, make sure I didn't come all the way here, just for not. Uh, and let me go ahead and uh, save here first before I do the uh, save here, or before I check. I'll be right back. Give me a second. Don't go anywhere. I'm gonna check on something.